You know, I've been putting cables in trees for years and years. Sometimes it's a good idea, sometimes it's a huge mistake. This particular tree, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a cable there, cable there, cable there, one, two, three, four. There's about eight cables holding this together. And this whole tree should come down. And I've alerted to the client, I've alerted him many, many times that this tree is a ticking time bomb. He had to get a permit to remove this tree, but decided he wanted to do a significant weight reduction all the way around. How much weight can I take out of this tree to make it even reasonably safe? I'm sure, you know, any amount of weight you take out of the tree makes it safer. But, you know, then I look up at all these cables that were put in, and these were put in 10 years ago. And this decay down here has gotten much, much worse. How strong are these J-lags? How much decay is starting to set into some of these things? There's, I, I, there's so many cables in this tree that, you know, I, without the cables, I'm sure this thing would just fall apart. It would just fall to pieces. Well, I had a, uh, I had a failure the other day, and I kept the, the cable, or the, uh, the J-lag piece, and I took it home. And I took it to the wood splitter and I opened it up because I wanted to see what happens. So let me show you what we've got on the inside of where it looks for a J-lag. Okay, we had a uh, failure happen the other day. The whole tree split apart. Maybe you saw that one that I just put up recently about the tree that fell in the pool. Well, two years ago, we put in a cable from one side to the other, and clearly the root system was rotten and it pulled apart. But what I did is I salvaged the part that was still intact in the tree, and I took it to the wood splitter, and I wanted to open it up to see what goes on inside of a cabled situation. So I, I've, I've never really done this where I've opened it up and looked at it closely. And this is from two years ago. So clearly you can see a lot of discoloration going on. And I'm sure some water got in there. It doesn't look like an excessive amount of rot, but you can see that the, the dark discoloration is starting to work its way up through the sound wood. This, this was from the very sound section of the tree. Now the other part ripped out because it was just too much force, too much going on, and it extracted the J-lags. Now I've, uh, I've heard of people testing the, the strength of these J-lags and, and clearly they, uh, they do reach a point where they're no longer um, strong enough. Decay sets in. I, I would love to see more examples of J-lags that have been uh, in place for a long, long time and then split the wood and, and better evaluate because I mean, on the one hand, all this blackening that's going on in here could just be an association with the metal in conduct in, in connection with the, the moisture in the wood, but it could also be the first signs of decay. If you look up in here closely, it does appear that there is some decay setting in that's directly associated with uh, the, the initial entry hole. So, J lags have been used for a long, long time, probably better than 50 years. Um, and, it, and it's still a, a good tool. Other people will go all the way through and put a washer on one side and a washer on the other side with a big circle, you know, um, a connector rod, and then connect to that. And from, from that perspective, the, the strength all the way through from a from a strength standpoint, seems like it would be better, but does that increase the area of long-term decay? Does it increase the possibility of creating um, as much of a problem with the, the cable? So cabling has been done for a long, long time, better than 100 years. There's probably evidence of cables that have been in from the late 1800s. Um, but uh, I don't know. 
This tells a lot. One other thing I'd like to um, point out is there is some discoloration in the metal and a bit of a bend. So this was a new J lag when we put it in. So there, there is um, some evidence of um, aging on the metal. And it appears that this portion of the J lag shows more discoloration in the wood. Maybe that's where it was um, reacting, the metal with the, the wet wood. And I don't know if different trees react differently to cable installations. I know certain species of tree, I, I keep going back to the silver maple, I know that certain species of tree will decay quickly when they're injured. So my question is, if you were to use cables like this on a tree that decays quickly, would this become a problem quicker? And people that become dependent or reliant or believe that the cables are insurance against the tree failure um, may want to rethink it.